Aloha from Sammy and the Maui Yoga Homies. We've got a nice practice today. It's going to be about an hour long, and we're going to need two blocks and a strap. So go ahead and get your stuff, come up to standing, and let's get this show on the road. Standing in Sama Sitihi, inhale your arms up to the sky, and exhale, fold forward right from your hips. Inhale, extend your chest halfway, and exhale, fold again, drop your head. Inhale, raise your arms all the way up, look up at your hands. Exhale, hands by your side. Again, inhale your arms up, strong outer arms. Exhale, fold forward, right when your hips move. Inhale, extend your chest halfway. Exhale, fold again, drop your head. Inhale, raise your arms, stretch to the ceiling, look up, exhale, hands by your side. One more. Inhale, arms up, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway extend your chest, exhale, fold again, and drop your head. On your next inhale, raise your arms all the way up, and exhale, hands by your side. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, extend your chest halfway. Exhale, walk back to plank pose, the top of a push-up. Strong arms, strong legs, holding here. Take your tailbone to reach down between your heels and reach your chest away from your pubic bone. Breathing. When you're ready, inhale, shift forward, and exhale, lower down. Land on your belly. Press the tops of your feet. Inhale, lift your chest into cobra pose. Lift your hands up off the ground as well. So I know you're not using your hands to lift your chest. Keep pulling your breastbone forward and up, forward and up. Breathing forward and up. And exhale, roll down. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, and inhale, press up to downward facing dog. Walk your feet in if you need. Take five breaths here. One, two, tuck your chin into your chest. Three, your ears should be in line with your arms. Four, spread your fingers, press all your knuckles down. Five, good. Now look forward between your hands and walk both feet forward between your hands. Extend your chest halfway on an inhale and fold forward on an exhale. Inhale to raise your arms all the way up, touch palms, look up. Exhale, hands by your side. We'll go again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, extend your chest, belly, spine. Exhale, walk back and lower down. Hover. Inhale, press the tops of your feet, lift your chest, come to upward dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Drop your head and breathe for five deep breaths. That was one. Two. Three, four, another deep, smooth breath, five. Now look forward and walk forward. Inhale, extend halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, raise your arms, stretching upward, looking upward. Exhale, hands to your side. One more. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway extend your chest. Exhale, walk or jump back and lower your body down. Inhale, through your back bend. And exhale, back to downward facing dog. Steady and poised. Breathing for one. Spread your fingers. Press all your knuckles down. 
two, squeeze in your upper outer arms, three, reach your, your heels back away from your toes, four, lift your hips up nice and high, one more deep breath, five, now look forward and walk or jump both feet forward, inhale, extend your chest, exhale, fold forward, drop your head, Inhale, raise your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands go down by your side. Chair pose. Inhale, bend your knees, lift your arms, look up. Exhale, fold your chest down to your bent knees and then straighten your legs. Inhale, extend your chest halfway. Exhale, walk or jump back and lower your body down. Inhale, through your back bend. And exhale, back to downward facing dog. Now take your right foot forward and turn your left heel down. Inhale your arms up and we're gonna take five breaths here. One, breathing deeply. Two, your knee is bent directly over your ankle in a vertical line. Three, your back leg is super straight and strong. Four, five, step back, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Let's go to the other side. Left foot forward, right heel turns down. Inhale your arms up, breathing. One, this pose is called Vira Bhadrasana One, or Warrior One pose. Two, breathing, inhaling deeply for three, four, and five. Hands go down, step back, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take five breaths. As you connect with your breathing, you'd like your breath to make a sound. And you can make this happen by breathing in through your nose and letting your breath rush along the back of your throat. Squeezing a little muscle at the very top of your throat called the goitus will make that sound kind of like ocean waves crashing against the shore. Now look forward and step or jump both feet forward. Extend your chest on an inhale and fold forward on an exhale. Inhale back to chair pose, Utkatasana, and exhale, Samasthiti, hands down by your side. One more. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, when you fold, bring your chest down to your bent knees and then straighten your legs. Inhale, halfway extend. Exhale, walk or jump back and lower down. Inhale, upward dog, and exhale back to downward dog. Take your right foot forward, turn your left heel down, inhale your arms up to the sky, and exhale your hands go down and step back and lower down all on that exhale. Inhale, back bend, exhale, downward dog. Left foot forward, right heel down, inhale arms up, and exhale your hands go down, share that exhale to lower your body. Inhale, upward dog, Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Five deep breath. One, this is your resting time. Two, three, try to make your inhale and exhale even. Four, one more, five. On your next inhale, step or hop, both feet forward, extend your chest, and exhale to fold forward. Inhale to chair pose, bend your knees, lift your arms, look up, exhale, samasthiti. Very good. Now, spread your feet out hips width apart. Hands on your hips and inhale, lift your chest, exhale, fold forward. Grab your big toes, your peace fingers, your index finger, your middle finger go between the big toe and the second toe. And then drop your head and release. Breathing, five breath, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, extending halfway, and exhale one more time. You're gonna slide your hands under your feet. Right hand under your right foot, left hand under your left foot, toes on the wrists, drop your head. If you can't get your toes on your wrist, no big deal. Eventually they'll work their way there. 
Stack your hips directly above your heels so that you've got a nice straight line from your hips to your heels. Let go of your head, your neck, and let your shoulders roll up your back. Keep breathing deeply in through your nose, out through your nose. Now, take your hands out one at a time and exhale your hands on your hips, a little bend in your knees. Inhale, come up all the way to standing and exhale, samastitihi. Now reach down and grab a block and take a wide step out to the side. Take your block into your right hand, turn your right foot to 90 degrees and then bring your block down and back of your right foot. Left arm up to the sky for triangle pose, Uttita Trikonasana. Breathing, you wanna strengthen the top of your legs and strengthen your upper outer arms. And while you're here, you're just holding the posture steady and strong. Inhale, coming up, switch your block hands, turn your right toes in, turn your left toes out. Shift your hips back and exhale, bring the block down and back of your left foot. Extending your right arm up. You can gaze up at your top arm if it feels good on your neck. If it doesn't feel good, just look straight forward and just keep breathing. You can use your block on high, medium, or low. Now, on your next inhale, coming up to standing, and turn to your right side. Turn your right toes out and turn your left toes in. Maybe step your right foot in a bit and left foot in. Now, square your hips and exhale. Bring your left hand down. And when you're ready, inhale, your right arm goes up to the sky. Pavarita Trikonasana, Revolve Triangle Pose. Turn your belly, turn your chest, and squeeze your inner upper thighs together. Breathing a couple more breaths. We're spending about five breaths in each pose. Now bend your right knee, grab your block, and turn around, left foot forward. And this time, squaring your hips again, your right hand goes down on the block. Some of you may not need a block, and you can go to the floor. Inhale, your left arm goes up to the sky. Breathing, one, two, squeeze the thighs together, three, ground your feet down to the ground with strong legs, four, and twist your belly, five. Now bend your knee, pick up your block, inhale, come up all the way to standing, and step forward back to the front of your mat to reset to Samastitihi. Now we're gonna take a much wider step out and turn the right foot to 90 degrees. Bend your right knee over your ankle, bring your block down and back of your right leg. If this is too low, you can bring your elbow on your thigh. Extend your left arm up and over in a nice long side angle. This is the name of this pose, side angle pose. Breathing one, you can look up at your top hand if it feels good. Two, and if not, look straight forward. Three, four, one more, five. Inhale to come up, turn to your left side. Turn the left toes to 90 degrees. Bend your left knee over your ankle and bring your left hand down or your left elbow. Extend your right arm up and over. Your arm should be in a direct angle with your back foot. So find your back foot and dig into it. And then find that upper arm and reach through it and see if you can stretch your side body by doing this. Breathing the whole time. Take two more breaths. This is a quintessential yoga posture. Inhale to come up all the way to standing and then step back to Samas Titihi. It's like a reset. Now take a wide step out Inhale, hands on hips, chest up, feet in one line, and exhale, fold forward. You're gonna bring your hands down to the ground, right in between your feet. You might use a block. Inhale, extend your chest halfway, and exhale, fold and drop your head down towards the ground. Perhaps your head will touch the ground, and perhaps that's coming in the future. Wherever you are, strengthen your legs and breathe. Let your breath be big on the inhalation. The exhalation will follow.
One more deep breath. Now inhale halfway and exhale hands on your hips. Inhale, come up all the way to standing. Couple more like that. Inhale, arms to a T and exhale, clasp the sides of your waist. Fingers are on the front. Inhale, chest up and shoulders back and exhale, fold forward. Again, your head, the crown of your head reaches towards the ground. It will touch one day if you keep trying. And if it touches already, congratulations. Breathing deeply, squeeze the elbows into the center line of your body. Strengthen your upper thighs, the quadricep muscles, and dig into the pinky toe sides of your feet. Breathing, one more breath. Now bend your knees and inhale, come up all the way to standing. Release your hands. Inhale your arms to a T and exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back, all 10. Chest up, inhale, and exhale, fold forward, hinging right from your hip bones and lifting your clasped hands up and over as you go. The knuckles point forward, dropping your head, strengthening your legs, pressing into your heels, breathing. This is your third big breath here. Fourth, and then fifth. Inhale, coming up all the way, and exhale, release your hands. Hands on your hips, chest up. Exhale, fold forward, run your hands down your legs, grab your big toes. Inhale, extend halfway, and exhale, fold forward. And breathing deeply. One, Two, three, four, five. Good. Now bend your knees. Inhale halfway. Exhale, hands on your hips. Inhale, come up all the way to standing. And step back to the front of your mat to Samas Titihi. Good, take a step to your right, and now turn and pivot to your right side. And this would be a great time to grab a couple blocks, at least one, maybe two. And then extend your chest forward in this pyramid shape pose, Parjvatanasana. Strengthen your legs, and imagine they're squeezing together in the center line. Now fold forward, exhale. From here, you can take your blocks a little lower perhaps, and really drop down over your extended right leg. You might not need blocks and you can bring your hands to the ground. It's all up to you. Maybe walk your hands out in front of you to get a deeper stretch in your spine. Breathing deeply. to come out of this posture you're going to go ahead and bend your right knee and inhale come up all the way to standing bring your blocks if you're using them pivot and turn to your left side left foot forward right foot back and then exhale fold forward right from your hip bones get that spinal extension again pull your chest forward away from your hips and then from here Start to fold over the left straight leg. Walking your blocks or hands out in front of you. Getting elongation along your spine. A healthy elongated spine is one of our main goals in yoga, along with deep conscious breathing and of course the quiet mind. Keep your breath going, extending long, strengthening the upper thighs in both legs. And now bend your left knee, walk your blocks back, inhale, come up all the way to standing, and step forward back to Samas Titihi. We're gonna try a little balancing here. So keeping your two blocks in your hands, you're going to place the blocks down on the ground with your right foot slightly in front of your left. Good. Now from here, 
Walk your hands out in front of you. Get a nice long, long spine. And then finally, lifting up your back leg. Try to drive that motion from the inner thigh. Point your toes directly down, your heel up. This is called Ardha Chandrasana, or I'm sorry, this is called Virabhadrasana 3. We're heading to Ardha Chandrasana next, half moon pose. For Ardha Chandrasana, you're going to turn your toes out. And then your right hand might come to your hip, or it might go all the way up to the sky. Breathing, extending, one, two, three, four, and five. And now when you're ready, both hands go down first, and the foot goes down second. Good. Switching sides. Lift your left leg up. Very good. And then point the pinky toe down on your left foot. So there's inward rotation in your left inner thigh, lifting up. Both hips are in line, and you're extending your chest through your strong pit of your belly. And when you're ready, we're going to start to move to the side pose, Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon Pose. You're going to turn your toes out, and then lift up your left hand. It can go on your hip, or it can lift directly up into the sky. Try to make nice long lines by squeezing in your legs and squeezing in your upper outer arms and breathing to steady and poised and balanced. Both hands come down, both feet come down. Good. Now when you're ready, inhale your arms up to the sky, rise up, exhale, hands go down by your side. Now we're going to bend both knees and we're going to place the right ankle over the left thigh and then fold forward from here. Maybe your hands touch the ground or maybe you could use some blocks to help you out. The lower you sit down in your left hip, the better. You're going to get a deep stretch in the outer right hip here. Drop your head. Connect in with your breath. You can begin to look up towards your navel. One more big breath. And we're going to come out halfway and then we'll pause there and kind of float. Inhale, coming up all the way to standing and then release. Now let's take the left side. Bring your left ankle over your right thigh and sit down low. Bend forward with your chest and bring both hands down to the blocks. Or you may not need blocks and you can go all the way to the ground. Sit as low as you can in your standing leg to get a deep stretch in your outer hips. And breathe into your outer hips. Drop your head, breathing deeply. Now on our next inhalation, we're going to look up, come forward, and float the hands off the ground, and then inhale all the way up and release your left leg. Stepping to the front of your mat, bring your hands to, to your side, and inhale your arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward right from your hip bones. Inhale, extend halfway. Exhale, step or jump back and lower down. Inhale through your back bend and exhale back to downward facing dog. Now step or hop both feet forward between your hands again. Bend your knees, sit down low and take your tailbone to reach down towards the ground. Inhale your arms up for Utkatasana, chair pose. Sitting, one, breathing, looking up at your hands, two, tailbone and pubic bone face down, three, reaching up through the sides of your waist, four, and exhale, hands go down. Inhale, extend halfway, and step or jump back for another vinyasa. Inhale through upward facing dog, and exhale to downward facing dog. Now for warrior one and warrior two, take your right foot forward between your hands, turn your left heel down, 
While you're low, keep your legs straight and lift up. Swivel your left hip forward to meet your right hand. You can use your hands like I'm doing on your hips. Bend your knee above your ankle and inhale your arms up to the sky. Look up last at your thumbs. Breathing one, two. When you're looking up, your chin should point, point directly up and your face should be parallel to the ceiling. Now straighten your right leg, turn your right toes in, pivot your left toes out. Good, square your hips by bringing hands to the hips and swiveling the right hip forward and bend your left knee over your ankle. Inhale your arms up, breathing one, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna open the arms out to warrior two pose. Spread your legs a little wider. Keep your left knee bent and gaze over your left fingertips and breathe deeply. One, you'd like your hips to be even and level to the floor. Two, your tailbone points down, your pubic bone points down. Three, four, five, good. And then turn to your right side. Gazing over your right fingertips, breathing. One, two, three, four. Squeeze in your upper outer arms, five. Now windmill your hands down and step back. Lower down on an exhale. Inhale, back bend, and exhale to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, jump through to sitting. Extend your legs out in front of you for Dandasana, staff pose. Sitting evenly on both sitting bones. Press your hands down to the ground next to you. And lift up your spine using all the muscles around the pit of your belly to lift higher. Now reach forward and grab your big toes for Paschimottanasana A and exhale, extend forward over your straight legs. When you're here, extending over your straight legs, be sure to think about going forward, lifting your spine long, as opposed to downward. Downward will come eventually. And we'll have two hand placements left. So inhale, reach forward, and grab the sides of your feet for Paschimottanasana B, and exhale, fold forward. I should mention that this is a fantastic place to have a strap. If your hands don't yet touch your feet, have a strap and keep walking your way down the strap as you go. Keep breathing in one more hand placement. Inhale to look up and exhale. Wrap your hands as deeply as possible, maybe all the way around you, your feet. And drop your head. Breathe. Three. Four. One more deep breath. Five. On your inhale, look up, and on your exhale, let go of your feet. Now, Janu Shashasana A, bend your right knee, place the right sole of your foot to your inner left thigh, turn your belly left, and exhale, fold forward. Your navel should align with your left knee. And breathe, one. Getting a nice independent stretch along the left leg, two. Three, four, five. Look up, inhale, exhale, let go. Switch sides. Bend your left knee. Place the left sole of your foot to your inner right thigh. Turn your belly to the right and inhale, reach forward over your right leg. Exhale to fold forward over your right straight leg. Keep your breath going. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Inhale, look up at your foot. Exhale, let go of your foot. Good. Now straighten both legs back out and bend both of your knees. Bring the soles of your feet together for Baddha Konasana. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, fold forward, extending your chest along the same line as your feet, right in your center body. One day you may touch your head to the ground. 
But don't make it a big deal. Yoga is about breathing and quieting our thoughts, being in our body. We're staying a little longer here, more like 10 breaths instead of five. Find your outer hips and think about pressing them down. Inhale to come up slowly. And now spread your legs out wide for Upavishta Konasana. Reach forward with your chest. You can either grab the sides of your feet like I'm doing, or you can walk your hands out in the center of your body. Eventually, your forehead hits the ground, and if it's easy for your forehead to hit the ground, then your chin comes next. Now inhale, come up slowly, and I want to take this to a balance. Bend both your knees. Grab for the outsides of your feet, or maybe your ankles, and try to balance on your sitting bones to lift up both legs. Once you're there and you feel comfortable balancing, stretch your chin up to the ceiling. Good. Breathing here. One more deep breath, and then slowly bring your legs down and extend your legs out in front of you. Now bend your right knee, and we're going to turn for Marichi Asana C and have a spinal twist. Wrap your left arm around the front of your right shin and place your right hand in back of you for a little bit of support. Begin to turn from your navel, turn from your kidney side chest, and then turn your right shoulder, bringing it down flat into your body. Not too much weight in the back hand. You want to support yourself by sitting forward onto the front of your left sitting bone. Take two more breaths. Great work. Last one and slowly unwind. Now we'll switch legs. Bend your left leg and then turn to the left. Place your left hand in back of you for support. Wrap your right arm around the front of your left shin and on your inhale, lift your spine and on your exhale, twist your spine. Inhale to lift and exhale to twist. Nice big inhalation helps you to rise and your exhalation helps you to turn. You want to lay your shoulder flat into your body. And exhale, turn back to center. Now lie on your back for some core work. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Inhale, lift up your chest and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30, and then slowly let yourself down. Good. Hands go down by your side, and your legs are going to stretch up over your head, and we're going to start kicking like scissors. One, two, three three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Good. Hug both knees into your chest and place your feet down on the ground. Interlace your hands behind your head again. Inhale, lift up your chest, keeping your feet on the floor. Pulse. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. And slowly come down and again to the scissors. Hands go down by your side, legs go up into the air and start kicking. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, ten more ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Great work. Now extend your legs out in front of you. Stretch your arms overhead. Stretch your legs away from you. Elongate all those core muscles that we just built. Good. Get a nice long stretch along your belly. Then from here, we're just gonna roll over. So bend both knees and roll over onto your belly. And we're gonna do some shoulder stretches next. Extend your arms out at a T when you're on your belly. Now roll over onto your outstretched left arm. Press your palm down on the ground and just roll as much as your body's gonna allow you to go. You can do a couple of different things with your arms and your legs. I'm demonstrating lifting up your right arm, but you may decide not to and just keeping your right hand down on the ground. Also, you can bend your right knee and place the sole of your right foot on the ground as well to help the stretch. The more that you roll over onto the arm, the deeper the stretch will be. Be careful, only go to your limit. You wanna feel the stretch, but you don't wanna be at your edge. Back up a little bit. Keep breathing and then roll back to center. And now we're gonna to go to the opposite side. So outstretch your right arm, rolling over onto your right arm. And again here, you can bend your top knee, you can place your, right hand, your left hand on your hip, or you can lift it up to the sky. Good. Now just wherever you are, when you hit your limit, back away from it a little bit and breathe. One more really deep breath here. Good. And now we're gonna roll to center, lying on your belly again. We're gonna thread both of our arms underneath us. Take the left arm above the right arm, keep your arms and elbows right next to each other and directly beneath your sternum bone. As you pull your arms out to the side, get as much stretched out as you can. This is gonna stretch the space between the shoulder blades, the outer arms, what we call the deltoid muscles. And from here, you're just gonna let your head fall, let gravity do some of the work. And now to come out, we're just gonna come out about halfway and then switch sides. Put the, put the opposite arm on top and extend your arms way, way, way out to the sides and each side's gonna be a little different. Find the centermost point, drop your head, and just let gravity help you out. Breathe deeply. Each side's always a little different. And that's how we really learn about our imbalances in our body. Nobody's completely balanced, so don't expect to be. Take a couple more deep breaths. And now we're gonna slowly unwind the arms. Place the hands down beside your body. Sit back onto your knees. Separate your knees about as wide as your torso and sit back for child's pose. Walk your hands way, way, way out in front of you, pressing down through all your knuckles. Now walk both hands way, way, way over to your right hand side. And stretch the whole left side body. You should feel this underneath your underarm, 
in the sides of your body and the outer arm. Are you breathing? Good. And then from here, we're going to walk both hands back to the center and go way, way, way over to the left hand side. Great work. Breathing. And we're really extending through the right side body this time. You can even shift your hips just slightly over, away from your arms to get a deeper stretch. That's if you need it. And get playful with all your yoga postures. Remember to keep your tricep muscles, the outer arms, engaged so that you can get a deeper stretch and expansion. Now inhale, walk back to center. Come up onto all fours. And then from here, we're coming back down under our belly. We're going to roll over onto our backs. Great work. Now hug your right knee into your chest. And we're going to stretch the right leg up to the sky. And there's a couple different places you can grab it. You can grab behind the leg, behind the calf muscle. You can grab your big toe with your right fingers. Or you can have a strap handy nearby to place around the bottom of your foot. And pull the leg a little back towards your face. Breathing. This posture is called Supta Pada Angustasana, which basically means you're on your back, you're grabbing your toe, and you're extending it up. Take a couple more deep breaths. And then slowly we're going to take the leg over to the right. So both straps or your foot in your hand over to the right. Take your left hand on your left hip and encourage it to press down. Press away from you with your left heel. Press away from you with your right heel. Try to strengthen both legs to the best of your ability. Keep breathing. And inhale, come back to center. Now we're going to take both straps or the foot into our left hand. And we're going to bring the left, the foot, right foot over to the left side of the body. Keep breathing, getting an outer hip stretch here. Ground down through your right shoulder at the ground. See that it doesn't pop up off the floor. And if you need to back up your movement a little bit to put it back down, that's great. Inhale, come back to center. Hug your right knee into your chest and release your right leg. Now grab your left knee, hug it into your chest, and we're going to do the same thing on this side. Extend the leg up, either grabbing with your hands behind your thigh at the calf, or you can go toes and fingers meeting. You can also use a strap, so don't forget your strap nearby. And now from here, give the little leg a little bit of an extension back towards your face. Breathing. Don't force it. If you've got serious tightness in the hamstrings, always keep a little micro bend in your knee. You don't want to pull anything. You want our practice to be nice. Now take both straps or your hand and guide your leg over to the left side. So we're stretching out through the right leg at the ground, through the left leg. Imagine both feet are pressing into imaginary walls. Inhale, come back to center. Switch hands, take your right hand, guide your left leg over to the right. Always the strap can be used. Now breathe as you feel this deep stretch in your left outer hip. See if you can send your breath directly to that left outer hip, creating a connection and a conscious connection. Inhaling back to center. Exhale, hug your left knee into your chest and then release your left leg. We're going to bridge pose next. Bend both of your knees and place the soles of your feet on the ground. Inhale, lift up your hips. Clasp your hands behind your low back and hold your hips up high to the sky. Squeeze in your buttocks. Think about lifting your tailbone up. Very nice. Dome your chest out towards your chin and then slowly come down. Let's grab a block and add to this bridge pose. Place the block widthwise between your knees. 
And then when you're ready, inhale, lift your hips up. Clasp your hands again underneath your low back. As you squeeze the block between your thighs, between your knees, see if you can have the ability to lift up even a little higher through your hips. Distribute that energy back into your sternum bone and let your sternum bone rise into your chin. And then very slowly roll down, release the block out from beneath you. Now one more. You can do it with or without the block. Lifting up, clasp hands underneath your low back. Try to lift through your hips. Tilt your frontal hip bones towards your rib cage. Open and expand your rib cage from within, breathing. I'm demonstrating with the block. And now roll down slowly. Release the block. Now grab your two blocks. We're going to go to some inverting practice with a modified shoulder stand using the blocks. Take the blocks, stack them on top of each other, and then slide, lift your hips and slide them underneath you. The block should be directly underneath your sacrum, kind of between your sacrum and tailbone area. Extend your legs straight up to the sky. Try your best not to rock your hips back, but instead let your tailbone rest down on these blocks. Have your feet stacked over your hips. And we're just going to have the reversal of blood flow happen. Just a warning, you shouldn't invert when you're on your menstrual cycle, ladies. And also, if you have high blood pressure or glaucoma, you don't want pressure behind your eyes to build up. So if there are any of those, please skip these postures. But while we're here, we're just letting all the blood drain out of our feet, since usually we're right side up. We're delivering this nice gift of blood to the heart. Now, pull your legs out to the sides in a wide-legged V posture and press your heels away from you. And breathe here, about 10 breaths all together. Think about pushing two walls away from you with your feet. You might decide to clasp your hands around the sides of your block or just lay your hands down on the ground. Press down the sides of your shoulders. I'll call them the tips of your shoulders. And keep breathing, looking straight up. Don't turn your neck at all. Now inhale, bring your legs back together. Stretch your feet up towards the ceiling and stay here for a few more breaths. We're working to let all of the blood reverse. The blood's gonna go through our kidneys, our liver, the filtration systems of our body, and also to our heart and brain. Now bend both knees, place your feet down on the ground, come to your tippy toes, and slide the blocks out from underneath you. Good, lying on your back. You've made it to the end. It's time for Shavasana, resting posture. Extend your legs out in front of you. Extend your arms down by your side. Your palms face up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes. Let go of this whole practice we've just done. That was a great practice. I feel you did wonderfully. Let go of your feet. Let go of your legs. Let your belly relax and rise and fall with your breath. Relax your chest and your shoulders. Let them melt back to the earth. Draw a line from your shoulders all the way down to your fingertips. See if you can feel the little pulsation in your fingertips. That's your energy. Soften through your neck, your throat, your jawline, all of your facial features. Relax your forehead and your scalp. Spend this time letting the practice sink in.
Now, bringing life back into your body, begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bend your knees and hug your knees into your chest. Extend your arms overhead and roll over to one side for fetal position. Slowly making your way up to sitting. We bring our hands together at our chest. The thumbs touch the sternum bone. Your middle fingers point directly upward and your pinky fingers point forward. It's all symbolic of my spirit honoring your spirit. We bring our hands to our third eye, the center of our forehead, and we fold forward with gratitude. And when we come up, we bow to one another. Namaste and subscribe to our channel for more videos.